Right, so there's the horsey. Alright, they let me go through. Caused me no grief on there. On there. Beautiful scene. Longwood over there, look, where I was earlier. And then in this field here, we've got the wild goats again, and there's not just this little group here. Right over at the back there, not six, it's very bright, there's another massive herd of them. And they've got to be wild, haven't they? The gate's left open, they can come in and out. Loads of them, hundreds, hundreds of them. And they're having a good old feast on this grass. The farmer obviously doesn't mind. He hasn't let the cows out yet, see. I don't know what, how you can stop them. Um, I don't know how you can stop the goats. And they might have, they might keep them for goat's milk and cheese. I mean, they look very well fed. They look really, in some ways, more cultivated. In fact, that they're on here, you know, and maybe they've got they're doing goat's cheese and and stuff like that. They could pro probably make a fortune. See, they all scurried then when they heard me, when they realised I was here. I've seen munjacks and deer in this field as well before now. This will become very colourful soon. This will here. Yeah. This will become very colourful. Remember me from before? They don't like the human. They go and join the other big herd, I spat. The other big herd are right at the top there. I said I've never noticed them in here before when I've been. Never. It's like I said, it's almost like they're domesticated ones for some reason. They even look like they've been had their fur taken off them. You know, shared. Because I wish you could use goats for, for wool, couldn't you? Yeah, I reckon they're cultivated goats and ones. I mean, they might have pinched them off the gorge. They look too tidy. If you know what I mean. Where's the big billy goats? I love it. I really love it. I love being here. I love walking here. And when I'm a spirit, I will be over here. Definitely. I will be walking through those woods when the bluebells and the snowdrops are out. I'll be going across these fields. Bear along there over on the Mendips. Yes, I will. I will be. I will be back all the time. Because I'm more familiar with this area than I am the Corntox now, to be quite honest. Well, it's only because of distance and stupid buses. I would have thought with them building in Key Point. They would have put on a really good bus service by now. 
I mean, some people that work out there, they've got to get, somehow get on the motorway to meet a motorway service station for a lift. So they've got to rely on someone else, who just want to take them there in the beginning, to take them onto the service station. Right, there's one little herd then. Like I said, I reckon there. See, maybe they traded them in for the cows. I doubt it. It does seem a long time before the cows are out there, doesn't it? And there's another little herd there. I expect they've just come off the gorge. They're making the most of a bit of fresh green grass, bless them. Yeah. Making the most of it. I and mean, this could be the week they released the bull, the, the cows. <sighs> I mean, if there's one big herd just been out calf, so. And over the other side, I expect they'll all be let out over there, the what I call the wild bunch. For some reason, they always make such a lot of noise, those cows over there. And in here, you usually have a big herd of cows, a big herd, with a bull. started noticing them putting the bull in other play other farms areas without no warning I thought they had to inform you if there's a bull in the field but sometimes it's not the bull that causes the trouble it's the cows all right let's just say goodbye to these and then end in this video They look tame. Look, they look like they've been sheared, don't they? They've been bloody sheared. And they're well fed. You see the wild goats normally. They're scruffy little buggers. Maybe it's something I've missed and... Maybe they've always... Uh, done this. Maybe some I just haven't really observed. Right, over now everyone.